What if I told you that the oil you're using in your diesel, whether it's 0W40 or 5W40, could decide whether your engine runs strong for half a million miles or wears out before it even... Sounds dramatic? It's not. It's the truth backed by real-world testing and years of mechanic experience. You see, most diesel drivers think all 40-weight oils are the same. But the difference between 0W40 and 5W40 goes way beyond a few numbers on a bottle. It affects cold starts, turbo protection, fuel economy, oil burn, and engine wear, especially in heavy-duty trucks and modern turbo diesels. And here's the crazy part. Many people, even experienced drivers, are unknowingly using the wrong oil for their conditions. So today, we're breaking down the science, myths, and real test results behind 0W40 or 5W40. And by the end, you'll know exactly which one your diesel truly needs. Before we dive in, hit subscribe and turn on notifications because every week we uncover the truth about what keeps diesel engines running longer, cooler, and stronger. Section 1. What those numbers actually mean. Let's start simple. When you see 0W40 or 5W40, those numbers aren't random. They describe how the oil behaves in different temperatures. The first number with the W stands for winter performance. 0W means the oil flows more easily when it's cold. That's great for freezing mornings or trucks sitting overnight in snow. 5W is slightly thicker, so it takes a bit longer to circulate at startup, but still perfectly fine for moderate climates. The second number, 40 shows how thick the oil stays when the engine is hot, around 2012 pepibras or higher. That's your protection layer during towing, highway hauls, and long idling. So on paper, 0W40 sounds better. Thinner and cold, same thickness when hot. But the question is, does that advantage really matter for diesel engines that run hotter and under heavier loads? That's where real testing comes in, and the results might surprise you. To settle this debate, Independent diesel labs and fleet testing programs ran long-term studies using dozens of heavy-duty diesel engines, from Cummins and Power Stroke to Duramax and Mercedes turbo diesels. Half of them ran 0 40 full synthetic, the other half used 5 0 40 under identical conditions. Same fuel, same loads, same service intervals. After tens of thousands of miles, the results painted a clear picture. Engines running 0 bv 40 started easier in freezing weather, with quicker oil pressure buildup during cold mornings. Fuel economy was slightly better, about 1.5% improvement in city driving. But once the engines were worked hard, long highway hauls, towing or hot climates, the story flipped. 0 w 40 oil showed thinner film strength, higher volatility, and more bearing wear. Oil samples revealed around 30% more viscosity breakdown after 10,000 miles. Meanwhile, engines using 5 gals 40 ran steadier oil pressure, had cleaner pistons, and kept a stronger protective layer under high stress. Mechanics noticed fewer timing chain ticks, less turbo shaft wear, and lower oil consumption. So what does that mean in real life? If you're in a cold northern climate, 0 W40 gives you faster startups and less cranking stress. But if you're hauling, towing, or living in warmer regions, 5W40 holds its strength longer and protects your turbo better. Or as one veteran diesel technician said, 0W40 wins the winter mornings, but 5W40 wins the long hauls. So if 5 and 40 gives better long-term protection, why do so many new diesel trucks and SUVs come with 0W40 listed right on the oil cap? The answer isn't really about protection. It's about regulations and fuel economy numbers. Automakers are under constant pressure to meet emission and efficiency standards. In the US, federal rules reward manufacturers for squeezing out every bit of fuel economy, even if it's just a fraction of a mile per gallon. A thinner oil like 0 bio 40 flows faster and creates slightly less internal drag. Across millions of vehicles that helps brands hit those official MPG targets and avoid massive government fines. Even companies like Ram, Ford and GM quietly admit in technical bulletins that low viscosity oils are mainly chosen to help meet environmental standards, not necessarily because they protect engines better. In one internal memo, a major diesel manufacturer stated, under heavy duty or high load use, higher viscosity oils may improve engine durability. That's their careful way of saying, if you work your truck hard, thicker oil is safer. And here's the kicker, in Europe and Australia, 
The exact same diesel engines are often tested and certified with 5,000, 40 or even 10 VF40 oil. It's only in North America that you zero W40 as the official recommendation. So the truth is simple. Automakers push thinner oil to meet rules on paper. Not necessarily what's best for real-world diesel drivers who tow, haul, and idle for hours. Let's be clear, Zero W40 isn't a bad oil, it has its place, and when used in the right conditions, it performs great. You should stick with Zero. Leave in cold northern states where winter temps drop below freezing. Do short commutes or start your truck often after it sits overnight. Drive a modern diesel with tight tolerances like a late model Cummins or Power Stroke. Change your oil on time every 5,000 to 7,000 miles with good quality filters. In those cases, that fast-flowing cold start oil helps your engine come to life without grinding or dry starts. But there's another side of the story where zero doubly 40 starts to fail. If you live in hot or desert areas, tow heavy loads or idle for hours in traffic, that thin base oil starts to shear down, meaning it loses thickness under heat and pressure. Once it thins out, the protective oil film between metal parts starts breaking apart. That leads to more bearing wear, faster turbo shaft scoring, and increased oil consumption. In a 2023 heavy-duty oil test by a U.S. fleet maintenance group, zero doubly 40 oils dropped to around 36 weight after 6,000 miles in high heat conditions. Meanwhile, 5-ball 40 held steady at its rated viscosity even past 10,000 miles. So while zero well 40 might be your friend during cold starts, five bell 40 becomes your armor once the temperatures rise or the towing begins. Or as one diesel tech summed it up, if your oil gauge runs hot, zero bell 40 runs scared. You've probably heard this one before. Thinner oil reduces friction, so it must be better. That line sounds smart and it's half true. Yes, thinner oil flows faster, which helps during cold starts. But flow isn't the same as protection. Real protection comes from film strength, that invisible layer of oil that keeps metal parts from touching each other when your engine's working hard. And here's where diesel engines are different. They run hotter, under more pressure, and with massive compression loads. When that happens, the oil needs to stay thick enough to hold its film, not just rush through the system. A thinner oil like 0 by 40 depends more on chemical additives, such as ZDDP, zinc and phosphorus to create that cushion. Those additives wear out fast, especially in engines that idle a lot or face long-haul heat. After about 5,000 to 7,000 miles, most 0 by 40 samples lose nearly 40% of their anti-wear additives. Meanwhile, 5 weight 40 keeps most of its protection because its thicker base oil carries the load more naturally. In simple terms, thinner oil, faster flow, weaker film, faster wear, slightly thicker oil, stronger film, longer life, and quieter engines. So when you hear marketing claims like thinner is better, remember, that's true for emission tests, not for engines pulling trailers up mountains. Every diesel engine has a danger zone most people never see. It's the tiny gap between the piston rings and the cylinder walls and it's a real torture chamber for your oil. Temperatures there can hit 500 bifetur or higher, especially in turbocharged diesels or engines pulling long grades under load. Now here's the problem. Most Euro 40 oils begin to lose film strength around 460. Once that protective layer breaks down even for a second, metal starts touching metal, and that's where the wear begins. In lab testing from major oil analysis centers, Diesel engines running 0 Dovzo 40 showed light scuffing on pistons and a thin varnish buildup after 8,000-10,000 miles. Engines using 5,000 40 under the same test stayed cleaner with a stronger, more stable oil film, even after extended drain intervals. That's because 5,000 40 forms a 35-30% thicker oil film when fully hot. It's a microscopic difference, but that extra layer is the barrier that keeps the crankshaft, bearings, and cam lobes from grinding. And here's something most hybrid diesel and start-stop engines struggle with. Frequent restarts cause oil pressure to drop again and again. When that happens, thin oil drains down faster, leaving dry spots that add up to wear over time. That's one reason some brands quietly recommend moving to 5 one water. Once your diesel passes 100,000 miles, even if the original spec said 0 doubly 40. In short, 0 doubly 40 is fine for gentle driving, 
But 5 wood 40 is what survives the heat zones, real diesels. Live in Ever notice your diesel burns oil between changes, even though there's no visible leak? You're not imagining it. It's often because the oil you're using is too thin for the heat your engine faces. Here's what happens. All oils slowly evaporate under high temperatures, but zero bob through 40 evaporates faster. This is called oil volatility, basically how easily oil turns into vapor when it gets hot. Over time, that burnt oil residue starts clogging your EGR valves, DPF filters, and even the catalytic converter, leading to rough idling, poor mileage, and expensive repairs. And let's not forget your turbocharger. Turbo bearings rely entirely on oil to stay cool and lubricated. When oil gets too thin, it can't cushion those spinning shafts that reach up to 150,000 RPM. That's when you start hearing the faint ticking or whining noise, a sign of early turbo wear. A 2021 fleet maintenance report from a major trucking company found that engines using 0W40 had 22% more turbo bearing failures compared to the same models running 5W40. So if your diesel burns oil smokes slightly at startup or sounds louder under boost, the problem might not be your engine. It could just be oil that's too thin for your workload. If there's one part of a diesel engine that truly tests your oil, it's the turbocharger. This little beast spins faster than a jet engine, up to 150,000 RPM, while being cooled and lubricated by oil alone. Inside the turbo, oil faces insane temperatures and pressure. When you shut your truck off after a long drive or a heavy tow, the turbo can still be glowing hot. If your oil is too thin, it literally bakes inside the turbo housing, turning into hard carbon deposits that restrict oil flow. That's why turbocharged diesels are far less forgiving with oil choice. In real-world fleet testing, Zero Double System 40 handles short city driving just fine, but during long hauls or high boost conditions, it started to shear down to a 35-weight oil in less than 5,000 miles. Once that happens, the protective cushion around the turbo bearings disappears, and wear starts building up fast. Meanwhile, 5 Dow 40 full synthetic, especially PAO or Group 4-based oils, stayed stable up to 47.52, maintaining pressure and film strength even under constant most. That's why turbo manufacturers like Garrett and BorgWarner recommend at least a 40-weight oil for turbocharged diesels, and many tuners go straight to 5 Vils 40 for that reason. So if you run your diesel hard towing, off-roading, or highway hauling, 5 Vil 40 isn't just better, it's essential. Because when that turbo starts cooking oil, 0W40 breaks down first or 5W40, he stays fighting. Or as one diesel tuner put it, Thin oil makes power today, but thick oil keeps it tomorrow. Now here's the interesting part. Not every diesel owner needs to pick sides between 0W40 or 5W40. There's actually a sweet spot most people overlook. The oil that offers cold start flow like a 0W, but still holds up under heat like a 5W40. That's where modern synthetic blends and premium full synthetics come in. Some brands, like Shell Rotella T6, multi-vehicle, and Mobile One Turbo Diesel Truck use advanced additives that reduce friction without thinning out too much. They're built for both cold climate startups and heavy load towing, ideal for trucks that see a mix of city and highway driving. In other words, the label might say 0 double 40, but the actual performance behaves closer to 5 double 40 because of better base oils and shear resistant additives. The truth is, it's not a one oil fits all situation. The right choice depends on your climate, driving habits, and how hard you push your diesel. Ask any honest diesel mechanic, and they'll tell you this. There's no magic oil, just the right oil for the way you drive. Cheap oil labeled synthetic isn't the same as a high-end full synthetic that meets API CK4 or CJ4 standards. Always check the back label for those specs, that's where the truth hides. And here's a pro tip many skip. If you switch from zero, 40 to 5 Dio Hardy give your truck one oil change interval to adapt. During that time, keep an eye on oil level, pressure, and color. You'll often see it stabilize, with less consumption and smoother idle. At the end of the day, your oil is your diesel's lifeblood. You can upgrade your turbo, tune your ECU, or add new filters. But none of that matters if your oil breaks down under stress. So now you know the real difference between 0W40 and 5W40 diesel oils. Not just what the label says, but how each one actually performs in the real world. 
If this video helped you understand your diesel better, hit that like button and subscribe for more honest mechanic style breakdowns. No brand bias, no marketing fluff, just the truth that helps your truck last longer. And let me know in the comments, what oil are you running right now? Are you Team Zero W40 for cold starts or 5W40 for heavy work? Your experience might just help someone else make the right choice. Until next time, keep that diesel clean, tuned, and running like a beast.